Hi guys, today I'm going to uh, teach you how to make soap. And um, I've, I've never done this before, so we're learning this together. Um, but you want to get um, different kinds of soap. You can get this at the craft store. Now the materials that you're going to need to make your bar of soap are um, soap. I've got a block of soap here, also a sheet of colored soap. Um, there, you can buy it in shavings, you can buy scented, you can get all these at the craft store. Um, also, we're going to use a spoon to break apart the pieces, and also a cup. Um, just make sure that it's microwave safe, because we're going to be using the microwave to make this. Now, you're going to break this apart, because when you put it in the microwave, um, it needs to be in small pieces so that it can melt evenly into a, a liquid form. And I'm just going to use this to break off little flakes or chunks. And make sure that you use enough that would be um, suitable for a bar of soap and what size, think about what size that you want to make it. And also you want to use a, um, some sort of table covering because this can get messy and you don't want to um, get the soap all over your table because since it's a solid um, glycerin soap, it'll be hard to clean off. And you want to take this to your microwave. Chunks of soap. And we're going to put it into the microwave. Um, the directions on this particular brand of soap say to put it in for a minute or less. Um, I'm going to put it in for 45 seconds because it says that it can discolor if you leave it in too long. And I know that's true. You have to be aware that this is very hot liquid. Um, if you're young, you should not do this alone. Um, make sure your parents are with you or your guardians. And we're going, it's a good thing that this has a handle also because, um, you know, it keeps you a little bit safer. And looks like 45 seconds was just the right amount. It's not too, um, it hasn't really discolored. So, okay, this is the trick. You need um, some sort of plastic wrap, like saran wrap, um, that you can put into the um, cup. If, if you're using a cup for your mold, you don't have to. So make sure that the plastic is hugging all the edges that um, there's no space on the bottom like in between the corners um, so you can get the right shape for your mold. And the static will kind of help it stick to the edges too. Okay, so now you take your very hot soap and be very careful, hold it by the handle and pour it in starting from the middle and let it work itself out. So that you don't 
get any on the sides. There's a chunk there. And another one. Now you're going to let that cool for about five minutes. While you're waiting for your soap to cool, I want you to find a picture maybe out of a magazine of something that you like. Um, the glossy print will definitely help preserve this and you're going to put this in to your soap. Now the shell of this has hardened um, but it's still liquid on the bottom so um, just be careful, don't spill it because it's very, very hot and it can burn you seriously and um, okay so here's my design that I cut out now I'm gonna actually for this particular piece of soap I'm going to put him upside down because I want him to show through the top as you can see it kind of still does little ripples because uh, it is not solid we're just gonna leave him there while we're waiting for this to cool, um, I'm going to melt some more soap um, because I want to put a top layer over the design. And it's set for 45 seconds. And now I'm going to pour the top layer on, and it might um, melt some of the first layer, but that's okay because it, that'll cool too. And um, just make sure that it's even. And there's bubbles on top. Um, if it was the other way, you probably wouldn't want those, but um, it's not going to affect this much. And then um, we're going to go over to our um, soap sheets and um, create a design with that. I've cut out a little circle, so we're going to put that in like that. And it might weight down and sink a little bit, but that's not a huge deal. In fact, you know what, that's probably a better idea because then it won't have like the edges showing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another layer, I think, of soap on here. This is going to be a big soap bar though, but... You can have your soap cool quicker if you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. So I'm going to do that, but careful because it's still liquid. Um, and even the top layers and the outer layer um, cools first, but the middle stays liquid. So even if you think it's cool, it probably isn't. I also want to show you that the bottom layer still has not cooled. You see that little bubble moving around there? So again, this is really hot. You need to be careful, but the top layers are cooled. And, um, if, especially if it feels warm to the touch or hot even. So um, check if it's hot before you pick it up because if it's hot, it'll shock you, you'll drop it, you'll spill it all over yourself, you burn yourself, and it'll be bad. So make sure that it's cooled enough to handle before you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Um, you definitely want to wash out the dishes that you use because you don't want to eat all this stuff is on here. And you also want to clean out the microwave because you don't want your food tasting like soap. That's clean, see? Good job. After about a half an hour or 45 minutes, your soap should be cool and will like so. And you want to take the plastic wrap off. And voila, this is your bar of soap.
glycerin soap. Um, you can add scents to it uh, while it's cooling um, using f scented oil or um, they also sell scented soap and you can get it in flakes, you can get it in powder form, you can get it in chunks. Um, you can buy this at your craft store. Um, you know, ask the sales associate to help you out if you don't know what you're looking for. But um, the nice part about the brand that I used is that there is no animal byproducts. Um, it's all natural. So, um, you know, it's not terribly bad for the environment. And also, as you can see, there's some kind of wrinkles in it from the plastic wrap. Um, after washing your hands a couple times with it, that'll disappear. But um, thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this.